Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Today I'm going to show you how I wash circuit boards. And when I say wash, yes, I mean wash, like in the sink. Some people get taken aback when I do this and say, Oh my god, you're going to ruin it! And the misconception is that electronics and water don't mix. Because it's actually electricity and water that don't mix. So long as uh, we get everything dried out really well before we power things back up and put it back in the keyboard, we're going to be just fine. Why would we want to wash a circuit board? Well, because they get really dirty. So this is a typical ARP Omni 2 circuit board. And you can see that junk gets in the openings for the sliders and accumulates around the sliders, so here at the top of the slider. And even where the sliders, you know, far away from the sliders, like up here, it's, it's pretty grimy and dirty. This particular board isn't as, as bad as other ones that I've dealt with before, but this one is the one that I'm working on now, so for demo purposes it's going to have to do. So what if they get dirty? It's inside the synthesizer and you don't see it, right? Y yes, uh, but I'm going to be soldering new capacitors where I take these old ones off, and if the board's all greasy and dirty, I won't wind up with good solder joints. Plus, I put some pride into my work, and I think that it's just the right thing to do. Also, when I assemble products that I sell, like this replacement ARP filter, I want a nice professional look with no flux residue on the back of the board. So I use something called organic core solder. Uh, and if the flux residues are left on the circuit board, they can become corrosive over time, so there's a need to wash both new and used circuit boards. Alright, back to this ARP Omni. Washing the board with these sliders on uh, wouldn't be such a good idea because this, this junk up here is going to work its way down to that opening and uh, junk up the sliders. Uh, and the only way to really clean the ARP sliders is to desolder them from the board and disassemble the slider and rebuild them, which is super time consuming. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to take these sliders off and replace them with my Synth Chaser replacement slider kit. It saves a lot of time and it's, it's, it's just more economical that way. I'm also going to take the filter module off and the old capacitors that I'm going to be replacing. Okay, so here's the circuit board with the sliders, the filter, and the capacitors removed. And you can see that there's some dirt down here that was between where the sliders were. And there's dirt up here around these trimmers and, and up here in this, this part of the circuit board. And I could try to clean this with alcohol and a rag or Q-tips and stuff like that. And I might be able to clean this large open space. But there's really no way to clean this area apart from washing the board. Alright, so now I'm going to wash the board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the board down with this citrus cleaner. Like, like such. And then, uh, you know, some people use uh, Simple Green uh, instead of this citrus cleaner, but I like this stuff. So next I'm going to scrub the board with a toothbrush. So just kind of gently scrubbing everywhere in between the components. Stuff like that. And you're probably not going to want to use this toothbrush on your teeth again after doing this, but... Let's see. Stuff dripping off, brownish liquid dripping off, and I'll do the back side of the board too. Alright, and now we'll give it a rinse in warm water. And again, since water and electricity don't mix, we're going to want this board to be totally dry before we power it up again. Uh, especially in places where the water isn't going to, isn't going to dry out that, that quickly, like here under the ICs and by the connectors. Uh, so to speed things along, I'm going to blast this board with a can of compressed air. So this is going to get the water out from all those hard to reach places like under the chips and the connectors. When I'm using, uh, when I'm doing a lot of boards at once, I'll use my air compressor with a moisture filter attached, but for short runs, the compressed air is good. So now that we've got it pretty dry, I'm going to make sure that it's totally dry by leaving it out to sit overnight. Let's talk real briefly about hard water. 
So there's minerals in your tap water. And where I live, the tap water is very hard. That means it has lots of minerals in it. Some people might think that it's necessary to wash circuit boards in distilled water or softened water or uh, thoroughly dry it with denatured alcohol or some kind of alcohol after, after washing it to avoid deposits of these hard water minerals because they fear that the minerals are going to conduct electricity. So I'm no expert in chemistry, uh, but I don't agree with that. First of all, we're drying the circuit board almost immediately, and we're not giving a chance for the minerals to deposit. When you get that white buildup on your sink or shower head, it's the result of months and years of regular high volume use. This is one little wash, which we're drying right up. Second, the mineral that gets deposited from hard water is called calcium carbonate, and it's not conductive in solid form. So there's nothing to worry about about washing your circuit board in plain old tap water. All right, it's the next day now, and I'm very confident that this board's completely dry, and it looks so clean that you could eat off of it. Well, except for all the lead and the solder. So anyway, I'm going to solder all the new parts on, and uh, we'll have a last look at it. And here's the finished board. It looks just like the day it rolled off the line back in 1978. So in this video I showed you how I wash dirty synthesizer circuit boards. I hope you found it helpful, but more importantly I hope that my dirty synthesizer pictures didn't get you in trouble with your boss or your wife. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. That lets me know you're interested in this kind of stuff and motivates me to make more videos. This has been SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.